show, everyone. In the last episode, we took care of a lot of alderman business and haven't gotten much more. Oh, yes! I was going to say we haven't gotten much more accomplished, but we have now. We are now a capital city with a population of 28,000 peeps. Awesome. We can now make harbors or cargo harbors if we wish to expand our options for moving peeps and or freight. Our next milestone will be a colossal city at 38,000 people, at which point we'll be able to buy a new section of land and a nuclear power plant. I cannot wait. Okay, so can we buy more land now? Oh, we can. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, oh, damn it. I had a plan for something I wanted to do, and now I don't remember. Um, okay, so it looks like I can't buy the sections of land over here. Like, I kind of hoped I could, that I could stick the uh, poop water pumps over here. But that's fine. Actually, this is not so bad. Hmm. I'm going to buy this section of land for now. Okay, I can't buy any more. All right. I actually sort of wanted these sections here because hopefully you can see my mouse cursor. Because if I build, if I make these sections here, I can build some industrial zones here and stick the cargo harbor right next to it. And that will be a good combination. But the reason I bought this one is because uh, Alderman Smith wanted me to put trains in Smitty Hood. And Kalo's Corner, as of yesterday's episode, now allows recreational drugs which increases tourism. So I figured, that's a nice little combination. That's a good place to have a train station. So let's add ourselves a train station. Assuming I click the right damn thing. Okay, train station. And we, oh wow, yeah, it's gonna piss off everybody with the sound noise. Sound noise, yes. Um, okay, I'll be a good mayor. I won't, let's see. I'll be a good mayor, and I won't, uh, I, I, I won't make your citizens deal with the noise, but let's do that, and then we'll build a, yep, right about there. Look at all those happy peeps. That was not nearly as many as I thought it would be. Damn it. Okay, well, I have a little bit of money to burn. I'll just blow this up. And I'll go back to my original plan, which will cause a lot of noise, but we will work with that later. Um, I'm going to slap down... Eh, sorry, Kalo's Corner. Oh, but a lot of people are happy about it. Eh, maybe it works out. Um, and then I'll also put down another train station here. Height too high. For Smitty Hood. There we go. Okay, so now we will link those up with some train tracks. Like so. And then we have to rope them into the main track here. I have a plan on how I'm going to do that. Because you have to sort of... You have to... No, 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 no. that work how I wanted it to? Sure didn't. Son of a bitch. It's very touchy to do train tracks. I'm just trying to make sure that I can... There we go. Wait. Yeah, there we go, because now they can move. What? 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 Why? <laughs> All right, let's try it this way then. So touchy. I don't even know if this is even necessary. What space is already occupied? You doof. Doof game. All right, let's go say here. Then here. Is that what I wanted? Yes, I think. Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So now we're going to run the train track here. We're going to let it go over the highway so the high neither the highway nor the train has to stop. There 
There we go. Done and done. All right, now trains can come and deliver tourists to these two train stations. I'm sure this one will start hopping pretty soon since everyone can head down there to score some weed. Hooray, hooray. And while we're at it, I will also make a cargo one because I think yeah, I own just enough of that line I can pull this off. So I'm going to make a cargo transport delay. Uh, eh, come on, where's the tile? Eh. There we go. And that'll help out Dextrict and Ayla's clan. And I see the traffic is building up very heavily over there, which I don't think was that bad before. Um, I have a feeling that had something to do with Ayla and her heavy traffic ban. I'm fairly certain she's sabotaging me somehow, but I, I just, I, I can't, I, I can't help being sabotaged by Ayla. Let's see, boom, oh wow, that was a lot simpler and easier. Okay, zip this over here, page up. Any space already occupied. Okay, because I want to, I wanted to go at about a 90 degree angle here. Okay, and then boop, and then boop. Wait, did that not? That is most certainly not connected, game. You, you want to try that again, game? Oops. There we go. That's connected. I'm gonna double check, make sure they're all connected then. Yep, those are connected. 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 Connected, connected, connected. Okay, we're all good. All right. So trains will start to arrive by themselves as they come to uh, gather or ship out products and such. And while we're at it, we will also put down a new building here that we got in the last episode, or at the beginning of this one, I guess. The harbor. We're going to put the harbor... Ooh. Hmm. Never mind. <sighs> the harbor is a little tricky, and it requires a direct line of path between the yellow line here, which is the external ship route, and wherever you're placing it. So I can't place it here, which to me is a little obnoxious because clearly I have a path. I just have to go around. Like, I could put it... Yeah, I could put it on Intelligence Island, but I'm not going to do that. You would think this would be legal since the ships would only have to go around a little bit of the beach, but apparently it's not, so I guess I can't place it there. That kind of stinks. Um, I could place the harbor next to District 14, but I don't, I don't think the harbor... Like, District 14 is pretty low density, so I don't think that's really... All that useful. But District 14 is getting backed up by poop, and that's something else I needed to fix. So we're going to slap down another water treatment plant right here. And add a pipe to it to rope it into the system. There we go. So now our sewage production should jump over there. Waiting for the number to jump. Come on. Start powering up. There we go. 640,000... Uh, cubic meters of poop per week and we are operating well under capacity excellent but we are running ooh oh cool the land changed I drained the lake and now it's all green and grassy that's awesome oh I'm so happy of course what this means is no one's getting any drinking water but you know we're gonna fix that right now so we are going to once again call a timeout. We're going to move. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I see where my power grid is. Because I want to put these, I want to put the water pumps in a section away from the power grid. This is actually 
perfect. So what I'm going to do is we're going to move these over here. There's not only plenty of clean water, but it's elevated, and that's a good place to put our new uh, wind turbine. The only problem with this is it's going to be kind of expensive to uh, get the piping over there, but who cares? Right now we can afford some long piping. I'm sure there's an oddy joke in there somewhere. Feel free to make it. All right, so that is so cool. Like, I knew they had water physics, and I theorized you could drain a lake, and I was happy to see you could, but I didn't realize it would even change the, um... I didn't realize it would change the, uh... the land type once you drain the lake. That is super cool. Oh, I love this game. Okay. Yeah, just rope it in there. And time in. Oh, crap. Except we've got to move this one over here. Yeah, there we go. Water required. Oh, right. Wait. There we go. Okay. Done and done. So, these should turn on momentarily. Come on. Turn on. There you go. All right. And there's plenty of a water flow here. It's awesome. And now I'm going to... Well, we're going to destroy this stuff since it's no longer necessary. I suppose I will just do the same thing with the pipes since these are no longer necessary. Um, I guess that one is necessary. Anyway. Okay, so we are good to go. I am going to... Build, wait, there's a fire department right frickin' there. I don't know why that building burned down. You all need to, I don't know, watch your smoking. Especially around the frickin' trees. <sighs> anyway, so my next, um, let's see, that is the middle district, right? So I can still buy this one, this one, and this one. So I can start buying the land over here and start working on creating something in the now drained lake that is freaking awesome i mean i guess there's nothing stopping me from starting now and we need commercial zones and residential zones so let's make some districts i guess or some blocks rather um can i just build the roads wherever apparently i can okay and that is just about so i'm trying to get this as as a uh, parallel to those lines. It's like, ah, damn it. Come on, man. I guess I'll have to go, like, here. Yeah, I'm trying to get this as parallel to that line. I think that's just about it. Yeah, that's just about right as well. Okay. So let's begin by making some of my standard sized blocks here. That looks incredibly silly, but I like it. So we're gonna freaking keep it. Oh, this is so cool. It's so cool that you can drain a lake and then build stuff in there. And then if you're feeling really sadistic, you can blow up the dam and just murder everybody. <laughs> I'm a sociopath. This is awesome, dude. I did not realize City Sky... Like, when I bought it, I did not realize City Skyline had this much power in it. And I'm so glad. This game is incredible. Go buy this on Steam, people. Links are in the video description. Oh, and I've, like, put the road perfectly by coincidence... So it's right at the edge. Oh, dude, that's so awesome. And now the only concern is, can I get the road to somehow connect to the rest of that? Because we're going to need... Let's see. How about we change this road to a standard two-line? I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of um, movement... Uh, between this section and then 
the rest of the city. I'm going to try to make this as independent as I can. So let's grab a road. We'll make it a curve. And then... Uh, okay, this is going to be the hard part. Never mind. Let's just do it this way. Yep, slope too steep. That is going to be the problem. I'm going to have to try to find a magic spot where I can get the road up there. I'm close. There we go. It looks a little sloppy, but we did it. We've now connected them all together. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Okay, so now um, let's build, since this is gonna be basically an independent area, it's going to need its own fire station, its own police station. Um, its own couple of crematoriums and its own clinic. I'm just about out of money here. And then we'll zone some commercial zones here, office zones here, residential zones everywhere else. And we'll remember to add some pipes. And we'll just do it from here. Okay. And we'll tie it into the system. And then we need some electricity. Where is the nearest? Okay, those are where the, all the power plants are. I may as well have the thing trace it, so. So we'll just trace the road. Actually, it'll trace it. It'll trace the road. And then once those zones start filling up, we can uh, get rid of that. And there we go. What was previously a lake is now the newest section of Hawkland. And we need to call this District 17. And I need to make a note that I have now created a new district, District 17 in episode 16. And if you wish to claim this district, just let me know in the comments below. This is so cool. I'm already like having more fun with this game, especially the whole district thing and bringing you guys into it than I ever did with SimCity. Um, like, when I was playing SimCity, I pretty much was limited to just naming things after you guys, naming the cities after you guys. And it, wor it worked okay, but this is a lot more fun, a lot more interactive, and there's so much more cool stuff to do! It's awesome doing this! Oh, oh, and we'll even give it a park, since I have this little right angle that's not doing anything here. So let's slap down a nice big-ass park. Like so. There we go. And District 17, you are now born, and I'm sure you will prosper soon. Very cool so Wait, did I just build a clinic and a hospital? What the fuck is wrong with me, man? I'm sure a few of you were screaming about that in the comments. Okay, we are going to... Uh, let's see what I put there. Commercial zones, I think, so... Or office zones, rather. Oh, I meant office. I ac accidentally put, um, high-density commercial. I meant to put office. There we go. And we'll just blow all this shit up. There we go. Customer service. <laughs> Customer service services. Nice. All right, there we go. We have District 17. It's kind of tiny, and we won't be able to expand it until we start buying up more land. Um, so I think when we upgrade our city next, I'm going to buy this section of land here, because that'll give me a little bit more of the lake to work with. Oh my god, why is there flooding? Oh god. Oh god. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is not going according to plan. 
This is not going according to plan at all. Why is there water coming into the- into the- into the zone? <laughs> oh god, I didn't want to flood it already. What the hell? Is it leaking out of the dam or something? Alright. Oh no. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, everything has gone wrong! Alright. That must have been just... Oh, I won- No, it didn't flood over the dam. Why did that happen? Huh. Well, District 17 has already had its first disaster. And, uh... Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll have to... Oh my god. Well, we're gonna continue working with this anyway in the next episode. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a water pump here after all. Yeah, actually, let me do that before I, actually, before I close out. We'll put one water pump. Okay. Wait, it's not letting me put a water pump there now? Oh, now it is, but only in... That's weird, man. All right, let's put one water pump here. There we go. Then we'll make a little electricity. Hmm. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, give me the... There we go. There we go, okay. So now, see the water's coming back. It's like seeping under the dam. That's weird. But hopefully this one water pump will be enough. Hopefully it can... It looks like it's doing its job now. It's sucking in this water and not letting any come out. I think the water's coming under the dam. Huh. Well, we'll just leave this water pump here and... Okay, so all the water is cleared away from District 17 now. So yeah, so we'll leave this water pump here as an emergency uh, thing to keep sucking in that water. Even if it sucks in very little water, you know, it doesn't matter. We're just wanting that for protection so the district doesn't get flooded. Anyway, so hopefully... Oh, I'm sorry, house. So uh, hopefully District 17 will work itself out and we will continue expanding. Why is there water? Wait, the water is still coming. Why? Well, whatever, I'll figure it out. I'm way over 20 minutes. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you tomorrow for another episode.